Greetings, everyone. I'm Tammy, your host with Making It Take It Time to Listen. Making It Take It Time to Listen. Today we have Puffy on the BC podcast today, and he stated how he did not steal from any of his artists. It may have been a record keeping oversight, but he did not steal. Well, you know what? I do believe him. However, he didn't directly steal, but maybe a little indirectly, maybe. I say this to say because artists, some artists don't read the full contract, don't comprehend the full contract. They see numbers, and they're just like, okay, okay, I'm going to sign, I'm going to sign. I got this deal. I got this big deal. But it's on them. They need to take time to read it, understand it. And if they don't, find someone else who will read it for them and explain it to them, break it down, and know how that numbers work. Because that if that decimal point is not lying in the right area, you're not going to get what you think you're going to get. But if you don't understand it, then you're lost without it. So perhaps Puffy is right when he said he didn't steal from anyone. It may have been an oversight. But for just flat out stealing, no. Taking advantage of their not being able to comprehend some things, maybe he did. Let's listen to what he has to say. First of all, Is what he had a problem first with, of did? all, his first, so, first of all, see, I didn't do nothing to him. So let's go back to the first, the first of all. The first of all is, is there has been negative propaganda put out about me that's not true and has really stained, tried to stain, stain my legacy. I've always been a person, I don't like to get in just talking people's business and things like that. But not right now. I have made it my purpose that when I come back, I can't have y'all, y'all, y'all following me because I am here to be a leader and to give some direction. If you think that I'm a scumbag that will ever steal anything, my name is Diddy, Sean Combs. I never took nothing from nobody a day in my life. All I've ever given is, is opportunity and, 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 and more money than a person was making. So when I hear like, or I see things and I'm like, wow, this, this, this vibe that they got on me, like I'm big red or something. I came here, I had to open up the doors. So you're saying you I don't, mean, you, 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 you don't mean, steal from artists is what you're saying? Never, never. So how never, does the narrative like that happen never, with so never, many never, different people? Because people have this thing called the, the tap out button. When you get to a certain point and the money is running low, you want to, you got to run this hustle to try to find somebody to blame. You know what I'm saying? I have all my receipts. And so we are going to do a special, a retrospective with all the artists and we're going to get this narrative clear because it comes from different tactics when people want to get out of contracts. And and a lot of people that speak on this, y'all don't know the business, y'all don't know what y'all are talking about. So it's going to be a teaching moment of love because it is important, I feel, fight for your reputation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fight for my reputation. I'm going to fight for the honorable man I am, the righteous king that I am. I'm not perfect, you know what I'm saying? It could have been an accountant mess up on this one or that one, things that happen in the business. But me actually, like, I'm running a hustle to get money. I started de- delivering papers at 12 years old. I was a millionaire when I was 19, you know what I'm saying? And so I will be making sure that the truth comes out because that's not going down in, 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 in my legacy. And to me, that's the worst thing in the world is a thief. The thief is the worst thing. His hand should be chopped. Her hand should be chopped off. His or her hand should be. That's the way I feel about somebody taking something from somebody that ain't theirs. You know what I'm saying? When- so you heard it from Puff slash City slash Sean Combs. But overall, it is important to do your research. 
before you just jump into anything. Research, research, research. So he's not as fought for being a businessman, but you have to research. Understand what you're signing. Understand what you're getting in. You know, so you can't blame him for everything. But don't forget, research, research, research. And don't forget, subscribe, like, comment. See you again. Thank you for making it take your time to listen.